visiting Beto Hale. He's a gifted musician. He's a vocalist, keyboardist, guitarist, drumist. He does it all, but he's got some aches and pains. So I want to find out what his challenges are and how some tune-up fitness moves can help him with them. Come with me. Come in. Hey, Beto. Hi. It's Jill. How are you? Good to meet you. All right, so tell me which of these instruments you play. I mean, do you play all of them? I play the piano and the keyboards. I play drums. I play bass and guitar. And I also sing. What for you is your, are your biggest body concerns? Like the things that you wake up every day and you're like, oh, there's that thing again. I think uh, neck tension, back tension. I mean, in my case, I think I can even hear it in my performance. Like each instrument has its own demands. If you're playing a bass, it's a heavy instrument. You're using both hands and sitting at the piano, you're actually hitting a key that's hitting a hammer. And then the drums, it's the whole body because you're using your feet, your mm -hmm. legs, and your arms. All of the instruments you mentioned are hand heavy. Mm -hmm. And so that chain is basically finger through neck and head. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely want to do some things with you that will address that, that fascial continuity. Okay. Uh, as many different roots as we can expose. Okay. But on top of that, the thoracic spine, the rib cage spine, which houses your diaphragm, mm -hmm. which is our power as a, as a vocalist, mm -hmm. that's key for then maintaining whatever corrections or whatever releases and rebalancing that we get up here. So we're definitely gonna need to do some finger to neck, okay. um, but we also wanna address your trunk and your breathing apparatus. So by witnessing you in your element, I can best specify the move that we'll do. Beto, we got head forward. So that makes your upper back, your thoracic spine also pay a price. And then a little thing for your pelvis because your feet are doing two different things. We'll see what we can get to. All right, man. You know, guitar picking, it totally, of course, works your flexors and extensors of your forearms and your neck. There's a lot of rotation in your spine. So I'm um, seeing a little bit of an imbalance in your low back and your pelvis, just a few things that are just sparking some thoughts for me. So what I'm seeing is there's so much impact, but every single strike is sending vibration through hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, neck. But all of those can be better improved actually by your rib cage position, by your thoracic spine position. So the first thing we want to do is talk to the rib cage spine, the thoracic spine. And in so doing, you're also going to get your diaphragm. So this is called thoracic breathing. So you just let your forehead rest and take a breath into the gorgeous ball. Try to contract the muscles within your rib cage. So contract your intercostals. It's like the rib muscles become fists. And then exhale, let go. And then just to sauce up your pecs, you just want to move the gorgeous ball to the right side of the rib cage and the left side of your rib cage. And the slower you go, the better this is for the soft tissues. Take your top hand and squish it onto the rib cage here. And I want you to breathe into your hand and into the ribs at the same time. Hold your breath, contract. This will also engage your deep abdominal muscles when you do that, that's awesome, good. And then exhale and let go. And this is actually to help the position of your pelvis. Muscles that control where your pelvis is in your trunk, you can get it just with a simple exercise okay. like this. This is called anterior neck shear mobilize all the stuff that's on top of them, which are lots of different layers of neck muscles, but find a way to get to the deep, deep ones. And it's critical that you turn your, that's it, you turn your neck against the pull of the ball. Well, now we're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna be for the deep neck flexors. So it's a very subtle action. Take a deep breath in, temporarily hold your breath. And then on exhale, you wanna to try to bring your chin into the ball, and that will bring your head up off the floor. 
All right, this is neck nar. This is non-negotiable. Okay. So there's a spot. There's a soft tissue triangle behind your collarbone, next to your neck, in front of your shoulder blade. You can easily place a yoga tuna ball or a therapy ball plus there and begin to breathe. So neck nar helps us to release the muscles that help us when we over breathe. It also helps us because our arms are tend to be forward like yours are on the keyboard or on the drums. So we use muscles that elevate the collarbone and that also are supporting us in that head forward position. So this is called floating angel arms. And really what it's about is activating all the muscles that stabilize your scapula and all of the muscles that help your rotator cuff to externally rotate your humerus. All right, so there's four different actions that we're gonna do here. You depress your shoulders. That means they move away from your ears. You abduct your shoulders. That means you pull the strap from east to west. Then you try to pull it back over your thighs. And then lastly, you attempt to externally rotate or spin out without breaking at your wrists, and then release. And if you've done that correctly, your shoulders will involuntarily float. Wow. Yeah, so this is a great corrective for you for all of the keyboarding and all of the instrument holding. This is for your forearms. Your forearms are, and your hands, are constantly gripping. They have to. So we're rolling out our flexors because they are, they're workhorses. Mm -hmm. And you can apply as much tolerable pressure as you're comfortable with. So you can also pivot your forearm and go through the ulna region, so that's the pinky side of the forearm. Mm -hmm. And you can also use your other hand and pivot the form around. And you can see my wrist is really slack here. That's right. important for uh, protecting the median nerve. I don't overwork an instrument other than my iPhone. Sure. And so I'm in this position sure. a lot, which is similar to the guitar hold. Of so course. it's really great to get along that pinky side of the hand. All right, so your tune up quartet, Beto, is for that neck and trunk and from neck to fingers, some gorgeous ball on the sternum, gorgeous ball on the ribs with concentrated breathing. Then we did some neck release, right? We did the shaving the neck with the gorgeous ball, activating those deep neck flexors, doing a little bonus neck gnar, which helps us to then reposition our shoulder blades. Then activating the shoulder blades and the external rotators of the shoulder with the floating angel arms. And then it's addressing the forearm. When you address the forearm, you actually get the elbow, you get the wrist and you get the hand. And that is how you tune up your instrument so that you can keep these instruments in tune and all of us happy listening to your music, all right? Thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Yeah.